Okay, here we go. Hello guys, Tech here. Today we're uh, reviewing this Five Nights at Freddy's Curse of Dreadbear Grim Foxy action figure. As you can see, the characters you can get from this are also oh, in the back. Like Glitch Trap, Jack O'Boney, Dreadbear. There's one that's exclusive, but for some reason sometimes available in other stores. Captain Foxy. The second most pilot of Foxy's. But enough chat. Let's just open this up. God, I'm going to miss this lovely box design. Okay. There is Grim Foxy out of the box. As you can see, this is kind of like a weak hair of like the Nightmare Foxy action figure. His hip point is a bit turnable. He has a pretty sick hook design. Haven't seen that. You know what would make this cooler is... Well, wouldn't make it cooler. It would be a bit cooler if uh, his name wasn't Grim Foxy and if it was jack L. foxy his ears are kind of wobbly i recommend you don't don't do that unless you're okay with broken ears his arm is such sick it doesn't come off like the other foxy you kind of hard to put back on wait let me get my other foxy <laughs> Like, this Foxy, he's, like, missing his legs, by the way. His hand can come off and can come back on. Ow. But for Grim Foxy, his hand doesn't come off. But it's also rotatable, which is cool. It would have made it better if he, if he like, glows in the dark because of that torso. Wait a minute, I'm going to see if he does glow in the dark. It didn't say it in the box, but... Nope, he doesn't. He does not glow in the dark. They should have made, like, a, a, a Tesco's exclusive Grim Foxy with a glow-in-the-dark torso. But again, like, but... Then that would mean this would be the new glow in the dark Foxy, the new most aware figure. Honestly, I love how they gave him the endoskeleton nightmare legs. I can hear a little sound when moving it. Listen. Well, actually, I do. You just can't hear it. His toes are a bit spiky, so I don't recommend. And weaving him on the ground at night. Now, this is actually my third Five Nights at Freddy's action figure I have to this day. The others, like, like Tie Dye Chica and Toxic Spring Trap, are all gone. All in, in the old areas. I mean, house. They're all in the old house. Or they're just scrapped in the bin. The last time I saw a Tie Dye Chica was just her arm. So the only figures left we have, we have left are Tie Dye Foxy and Tie Dye Freddy. The Tie Dye series is kind of fine though, but he is a kind of a good good one for the collection. You know, I would usually start collecting Spring Trap app figures, but now I think I should just start collecting Foxy. Look at the little guy. Oh, the quality gets worse for when you zoom him out. Oh, God. You know what? Cut the camera. If you're looking for an action figure with such good design and a transparent part of their body, Grim Foxy is the one you're looking for. That is all I am doing for today. Have a great day.